Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insights and today we've come out for an evening stroll and we're down in Ayanapa guys we're starting off in the town square where there's this beautiful fountain and you can walk around the middle of it guys that's what I'm going to do now and then we'll walk down towards the little harbour shall we walk down towards the little harbour and back again it's lovely and cool tonight it's the beginning of the season today's been lovely and warm ideal beach day for you guys I've been busy in my garden now you can hear the church going on there's a church service just down there guys is the church there we are beautiful little church if you want to visit that one day guys if you're staying in this area just come down towards the fountain you can drive if you're driving just down near there's a side road a little car park near the church or if you're staying around there just stroll up there is a stage here guys and uh, sometimes they put on some free shows so there's the stage can you see there we are the stage there and they'll put out some chairs now it looks like they've had some sort of uh, festival going on because the stalls are still here there we are there's quite a few festivals here right so we'll go into the middle of the fountain oh look at those we've got uh, all sorts of creatures there's some seahorses and some starfish excellent right let's go down towards the little harbour shall we so there's a very popular photo place here guys people waiting to take a photo I'll show you that in a minute there it is it's the sign for A and Napa lots of people like their photo taken there there we are okay. can you hear the birds loads of birds in there guys Look at that up there. That's a Fiji restaurant. Look at that. Yeah, I have a A sort of hidden away, isn't it, guys? Up there on the top of the other restaurant. I haven't noticed this before. It's an ice cream parlor and crepe. Lovely. Across the road, guys, is the Napa Plaza Hotel. Very, very popular hotel. Really lovely hotel, that is. Look out for the video. And of course, if you want to do a little trip, there's always these little uh, travel agents around, guys. And they'll arrange all sorts of trips around the island. Look, you can have a Cypriot night. A bus will pick you up and take you into one of the villages and uh, give you some souvlaki and some halloumi of course. You can do fishing and uh, you can go right up onto uh, Famagusta and onto the True Dot Mountains if you like. Whatever you fancy guys. What we've got here, we've got a hand analysis machine look so you put some money in here do you how much do you put in here guys i think a euro right so you put a euro in there put your hand in here like this ooh, ooh, ooh. does your hand come out does it chew it no it does come out and then you get a bit of paper there we are it tells you it's 
some things let's have a look oh look at that it says please don't forget to like and subscribe hmm there we are read my mind there that's that is a nice restaurant and it? it's got it's got like carpets and stuff is it some sort of lebanese restaurant i'm not sure mm. it's very nice you can have anything to eat around here can't you guys loads to choose from of course hundreds of uh my favorite ice cream parlors it's one over there the bakery company of course guys if you're on a bit of a budget i highly recommend the pizza hut all you can eat six euros 90. it's not a buffet you just choose what you, pizza you fancy order it eat it and then order another one and another one and another one as many as you like guys it's getting very busy isn't it what's the time let's have a look it's uh 7 30 guys look how busy it's getting quick snack there from kfc hmm. lovely of course there's plenty of these dive shops around guys if you fancy uh going diving for the first time or you're a novice i'm sure they accommodate all sorts of uh levels of diving look there's an introductory dive here if you want to get into diving that's 65 euros a lot if you're a certified diver what's a dive cost you 34 euros guys okay and then it goes cheaper as you buy more and more dives look you can get eight dives and they work out 25 euros each not bad oh wow guys look what i've just found or the crew found now this is an amazing shop we'll visit that on the way back guys can you see that over the road it's a clothes shop and it's called hobnob i wonder if they give you hobnobs while you're choosing your clothes so we'll feature that on the way back now oh, what's that ah now this guys is the traditional lukumi the traditional lukumi highly recommend one of these to take back to your friends and uh it's a traditional Cypriot sweet i'll show you what it's like and this whole shop is devoted to the lukumi now these are a great gift look they're only 190 each guys 190 euros and they you get quite a lot in the pack all different flavors and they make a great gift take back to your friends you can get half a dozen or so not very expensive and they are delish and then this whole shop has got traditional separate uh, stuff we've got uh, honey and herbs there we go Lo lots of separate herbs there looks like they're doing um soap as well look different soaps look at that look at this guys it's a big bit of soap isn't it right. so this is all natural products guys from cyprus look at that what an amazing shop and of course you can't have cyprus cooking without cinnamon and uh, there's little tasters here you can have guys okay and uh, this is made from the grape juice guys there it is there they are 
Okay, it's got they've got nuts in the middle and they run the grape juice along and slowly slowly build up the layers. So lots of nuts and dry fruit to choose from. Oh that looks like right. a really lovely shop. So that's a great shop guys if you want to uh, pick up a little gift to take back with you. As I said that box of Lukumis only one euro ninety and sometimes they do you a deal three boxes for a fiver I think three boxes for five euros so now we're passing the farmers taverna guys this is a very popular restaurant lots of food for your money there we are oh, oh he's having a dance and, and a kiss how are you look see now you now you are welcomed by this traditional Cypriot man he will show you to your table and recommend some lovely delish meals thank you so there you are so there you are Stephen and Sula that's your favorite place and many other people's And you, you can always ask for halloumi and lunza kebab in there, guys. I don't think it's on the menu, but uh, if you fancy that, you can always ask for it. Just say, George from Cyprus Insight said I can have a halloumi and lunza kebab, please. I'm finished off with a cup of tea and a hobnob. Right, just on the left is the Napa Star, Jackie. One of uh, many evenings spent here, guys, uh, over a pint of beer, looking over this veranda area, watching the nightlife. So that's the Napa Star. Very reasonably priced drinks. There's another traditional taverna across the road guys very popular that's Gostas the Greek very popular what a lovely evening highly recommend guys coming early in the season or late in the season you still got these cooler evenings you can enjoy have a stroll down to the harbour or walk along our famous coastal path now we have had a new fleet of buses turned up this year guys that is not one of them across the road it's one of the older ones although it's quite new that's the 101 loads of bus buses coming past here guys want to pick up a bus see where you end up eh go on an adventure you could pick up the 101 that's going to Paralimni jump on tell the driver you want to go to the end of the route end up in Paralimni then have a look around take the bus back how about that what a great idea guys so there's an idea for you guys one evening pick a bus jump on it go to the end of the route see what you can discover and then come back Over there, guys, is the Ferris Hotel. I've done a video of Ferris Hotel. It's a great little hotel, actually. There's more to it that meets the eye. There's a fabulous pool and restaurant, and then it goes out to the harbour. So 
there you are, Pharos meaning lighthouse. Oh, there's one of those uh, sort of uh, Hubble Bubble places, guys. You can pick up one of these Hubble Bubble things. Or Sisha. Oh, they also do cigars. So a specialist cigar place, there's the Sisha, look. You can get all the bits and pieces to go with it. Great. Great place. You can pick one up for a souvenir and then you can use it here on your holiday. Sit around, bubble away. Coming up to the roundabout, guys, end of the road. This is where the Ayanepa Harbour starts, just beyond the roundabout. Across the road is the harbour entrance and there's uh, lots of restaurants down there guys and pubs there's a Queen Vic down there Jackie quite a famous pub I suppose it's famous for EastEnders isn't it now these are the quad bikes and other higher place guys right in the centre there we are you pick one of these up and you can go up to Capo Greco or the Sculpture Park, all sorts of adventures. So there we are, there's the quad bikes guys, a single one now or these others. Now don't forget guys, wear your crash helmet while you've got your quad bike. There is a 200 euro fine caught without your crash helmet. Right, so we are on the pedestrian side, guys. Here we are, gift shops and bars, and of course, Jackie the Queen Vic. That's just on my left. If you want a quick pint or a slow pint, indeed, because you are in Cyprus after all. I don't think you're allowed to have a quick pint in Cyprus. It has to be a slow pint. So, just gonna jump into the Queen Vic and have a slow pint of beer. Oh, look, guys, they do have entertainment here, guys. Look, they've got a drag show going on. That looks like lots of fun. Karaoke night. And if if you want, guys, you can earn yourself a, a little wage. Look, even a waitress wanted. Right, now, on Monday we've got Michael Jackson, Tuesday Freddie Mercury, we've got the drag show going on on Thursday, Amy Whitehouse on Friday and on Saturday we've got two shows going on guys, Freddie Mercury and a comedy show, wow. Right. As we go, as we go. <laughs> okay. Here we are in this lovely area, guys. Now, we did come down here in the winter, yeah. Of course, these uh, shops weren't open, but all the Christmas lights were up. Have a look out for the video, guys. There's some fantastic, hello, Christmas lights here in the winter. And also there was a band playing. All sorts of things going on here, guys, in the winter. A different type of atmosphere.
So now we're going into the harbour. We'll find lots of fish restaurants, of course. There's one on the right. There's one on the left. Massive fish restaurant. And we'll go down this way, shall we? Yeah. We'll go down this way. Oh, they're waiting for their fish. Are you waiting for some fish? Yes. Yes. Are you waiting for some fish? Yes, I think he is. Yes. Yes. I don't think they'd ever get fed up with fish, would they? Alright, can we get to the harbour this way? Because it looks like it goes through the restaurant. Oh yeah, there's a little bridge. Oh, there's a little bridge here. We'll go over the bridge, shall we? There we are, over the bridge. Ah, a little path around the beautiful little harbour. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? And there's the Black Pearl, guys. It's a pirate ship. We'll be going on that soon. And we'll take our little camera along with us and show you the experience on the Black Pearl. Maybe we'll find some treasure or uh, see what uh, other ships we could raid. So here's the traditional fishing boats, guys. And one of our friends has got one just like this. And uh, the other day we were fixing it up, guys. Did video it as he was putting a gel coat on the bottom. And uh, he'd be soon launching it into the marina at uh, Leo Bedry. Once he's launched it, guys, we'll be hopping onto his boat and we'll go out fishing and see what it's like. So there's the black pearl, you can see, look, quite impressive from the back, isn't it, guys? Look. a black pearl okay we're heading back now guys through the harbour again and we'll go up towards the centre of Ayanapa see what else is going on now next week guys we're off on a cruise a week's cruise similar cruise that we did last year and we did video it last year lots of people enjoyed watching us going round Greece. We picked up the ship from Limassol. Now this year's cruise guys is going to Greece, Turkey and Israel. Very interesting. So look out for the video guys. We're starting off at Limassol, very convenient. Just drive up towards Limassol. You can park your car right outside on the cruise terminal guys just hop on the cruise ship and off you go what a fantastic idea of course if you wanted to come over here for a holiday you could do a week in cyprus and grab one of the cruises from limassol and off you go So if you're lucky enough to be over here at Christmas, guys, don't forget to visit Ayanapa Harbour. It is a really magical place with all the lights and the Christmas trees everywhere. It really is spectacular. The shops aren't open. There's a, the odd bar here and there if you want to grab yourself a slow pint. Or hot chocolate that time of the year. Mm. 
there's Aphrodite too guys another boat trip you can pick up here from the harbour there's lots of boat trips here guys just go up to the harbour and uh, you can pick one of a dozen or so Now guys, if you're not uh, staying around there, you've got your car, you can always go down this road, guys, inside of the harbour, and there's parking on the left. Plenty of parking down there. Looks like the sun's on the way. We've got a beautiful evening. And on my left is the Lunar Park. They call it a Lunar Park, we call it a fairground, don't we, guys? And there's a big bungee ride on there. And just make it out, I think there's some people on there now. And also, there's a bungee jump. Can you see the tower? Just make it out climb up there and then uh, a chappy up there will strap you up to a, a massive big bungee and kick you off and hopefully you'll make it back So don't forget guys, if you're going on the bungee jump, leave all your worldly goods to me. There's a bungee jump up there. Okay, don't forget to sign all your worldly goods over to me before making yourself up to the platform. Of course, you're never far from a nice screen shop here. There we are. And how much is it here? Oh, it's uh, one euro fifty a scoop. Not too bad at all. Not too bad. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I suppose if you didn't want something to eat, it's still a lovely little stroll down here, guys. Looks like they're doing Tandoori fish. 10 euros 90 for the complete meal. Not too bad. And that's at Raphael's restaurant, guys. Oh, they're doing some vegan stuff as well, look. Great. So, oh, they've got a vegan gyros, 10 euros 50. There we are, guys. Yeah, another traditional taverna, Gostas. Very busy place, guys. See what they've got. Like they've got the uh, spaghetti dishes at uh, 10 euros and also they do um, seafood salads 12 euros and uh, looks like they've got all sorts of stuff here king prawns baby calamari that's only 17 euros for the dish Yes. 
the Nepa Star Inn, there it is, featured yet again. So, if you're enjoying a nice slow beer there, Jackie. The Nepa. Now, what's going on here? Oh, oh, what are these? These are fish that eat your feet. There we are, you sit in these uh, benches and the fish eat your feet. So there you are, these, all these fish tanks, and you just put your feet in the fish tank, guys, and the fish nibble at your feet. Oh, now here, guys, is a proper coffee shop, and they are roasters, guys, coffee roasters, look. There's a machine, and it looks like they roast all different types of coffee. And then uh, you can take some home with you. Looks very delish. We're just going past Tommy's pub, guys. Another popular location. It looks like they have karaoke every night. Starts at 9.30 and other live shows as well. Tommy's pub. There you are, it's right in the corner. Right guys, so there's Nissi Avenue. There we are, Nissi Avenue down there. So guys, look out for more videos of the hotels that you've requested. There's a bit of a backlog, but we'll catch up soon. Now, look at this, look, Hobnobs. Classical boutique, look at that. Wow. Right. Yeah. Oh, there you are, look at that. It's a boutique, guys, called Hobnobs. They've even got some staff. Huh? Looks very posh, doesn't it? I don't know if you pick your clothes and have a Hobnob and a cup of tea. I like this place next door, too. Look, look at this stuff you can buy. There's another bus, guys. Oh, that's going to the Little Bedtree River, guys. The 502, one of the new buses in the fleet. Guys, if you want to take that bus there, the 502, to Little Bedtree Harbour. There's some nice little fish restaurants down there, guys. They do some really delish fish and chips down there. So that's a 502, just grab it up the road. Leo Bedry Harbour. As I said, even if you didn't want to have a meal, guys, you can always grab one of these buses. That one went to Leo Bedry Harbour. Just go to the end of the route, jump off, have a walk around, see what there is to see and hop back on what a great evening surprise bus tour that'll be what shall we do tonight darling i know let's do a surprise bus tour where should we go wherever the next bus takes us okie okay,
return to nowhere please sir certainly do you take oyster card no sir sorry So there you are, Jackie. What a lovely stroll. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.